So I'm Ann Hart. I'm the elementary principal up here at Alma Key Schools. I have the two elementary schools, East and West in Wakan, about 500 students. In our school district, uh, it was very easy to manage. Um, we had, actually I believe I did the registering of all the teachers just to make it easier for them. Uh, but the teachers, when I talked to the staff meeting, they thought, oh yeah, this is an easy thing to do. So all of our students participated. The teachers did the charting every week. I remember walking to classroom, they were doing the lesson on, okay, how many minutes of exercise did you get this week? Um, at that one, the lesson was water, how many glasses of water have you been drinking, all of that. And then the kids just recorded it. Some the associates helped record it, some the teachers did it all, um, and then did the reporting to the state. So it was an easy thing to do, but it was a fun thing to do. We tried to do a few different activities um, school-wide as part of it. We did some walks, we did some extra gym time. And then with my two elementaries, they're about three blocks apart. Um, the West Elementary is preschool through second grade, East is third grade through sixth. So then we try to get them together every month to do an activity. So we did the fall fitness walk together up here at the high school track. And the kids love it because their brothers and sisters are out there, so they're walking together. All the staff is. Uh, the kids see the teachers they had in the primary school. So that's a fun activity. So doing this activity kind of bumped us up a little with being a little more cognizant of how important it is to eat right and move. Um, and then, of course, the community, it was a wonderful initiative because there are a lot of teams. My husband and I were on a team. Our team didn't do so great. However, our name was drawn and we won a prize. Um, the East Elementary, it was fun because when they do these random drawings, one of my classrooms, Mr. O'Neill's fifth grade, his class was drawn. So they got a $500 certificate that we used over at East to buy playground equipment, to buy PE equipment. $500 goes a long ways. So that was really fun and a representative from um, the Healthy Kids group came up and presented it on the last day of school at the awards program. So that was really fun and I'm sure we'll participate this year because it was very successful. It has become quite a piece of our health curriculum uh, because you know we're very aware of the obesity issues this country has. You can't turn on TV and not see some statistic. So uh, you know we spend a lot of time with our kids so it's our obligation actually I think to get them prepared for being healthy adults, to have long lives, to um, learn to eat right, all of those habits that you have to put in place when they're young. We've done a lot here with the meal program. We have a wonderful um, dietitian who plans menus and works with her staff. They do a great job and they've really done quite a change this year as all schools have with the new um, requirements for lunches. However, you know, we're all backing this initiative because you have to change eating habits when kids are young. You know, having battled weight my whole life, I know how that is. So you have to do it when you're young, you have to make these habits, you have to make exercise a habit, you have to make nutrition a habit, and that's what we're trying to do. It doesn't take much time to do those things. You try and model it and do it together and you know, I, I, my kids all know we're family here so we have to take care of each other like family.